Hello, one large change. Welcome back to another video. We're playing some more Lost Judgments. And I was going to play some more of this earlier today, but I fell asleep. But now I'm back. Here we go, guys. So we got to go back in. Side Gendo Law. So then, Ihara admitted to killing Mikashiba, did he? Off the record, yeah. He also admitted Kawana approached him to offer revenge. That sounds like you were productive. It's enough for us to move forward with the appeal, I'd say. How does that sound, Genda-sensei? Uh, Genda-sensei? The sexual battery and Mikashiba's murder are the very same case. To clear Ahara of harassment, You'll need to prove he murdered Mikashiba. But you don't have evidence he did, do you? Ehara-san was captured on video committing the murder. And the prosecution claims it's a fake, of unknown origins. The police are saying the same. They're only saying that to cover their asses. In reality, the sexual battery evidence against Ehara-san is what was really fake. At the very least, we can claim Yui Mamiya and the others aided in fabricating that, alibi or not. You really think the courts will grant you an appeal for just that? Are you saying that's not possible? I wouldn't go that far. But Ehara won't admit to murdering Mikashiba in court. Kind of significant, don't you think? So what chance do you have even if you do appeal? Without any decisive new evidence, you'll just end up splitting hairs over the original verdict. And what good'll it do other than damage your own reputation, Sarukun? To be honest with you, I feel like I've been deeply underestimated. What? Sorry, son. Are you actually mad? Yes. As a matter of fact, I am. You have every right to be. Listen, Sensei. Ehara and Kawana devised this plan knowing full well they could manipulate the justice system. Have we not fallen right into their trap? If we take pity on the prosecution now, we play right into their hand. True. So how can we worry about reputation when our duty as lawyers is to face the law? I understand where you're coming from, and you're right to think it, but... And another thing. While acting as Ahara's defense in the first trial, I never truly believed the claim. I didn't trust the person I was defending, and I felt sick to my stomach even being in the courtroom. Sorry, son. Ahara likely saw right through that. He probably took great delight in our myopic dedication to the law. And I won't stand for that. I'm gonna show him exactly what I can do. Hmm, what about you, Yagami? I want to hear your thoughts. Damn, she sounds like the main character right now. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Hmm. We'll just go with this. We should listen to Sari-san. I understand why Ihara and Kawana did what they did. But I can't condone it. I see. So you feel it too, huh? Yes. Although my motivation may not be as righteous as Sari-san's. Hmm. What do you mean? Mikoshiva's murder, the fake groping alibi. The one behind it all was Kawana, and he's in hiding. We need to shine enough light on him that the public can see what he is. And the perfect place to do it is during Ahara's appeal hearing. So it's not Ahara you're after, but Kuwana. If we pursue Ahara's case, Kuwana-san's actions will naturally come to light. And if we draw out Kuwana, then RK and the ones backing them will make their move. Soma from RK said Sawa Sensei knew too much. Which means whoever's behind them has a secret that needs to stay buried, even if it means murder. And I need to figure that secret out. I owe Sawa Sensei that closure. The only thing we can do for her now is make sure the ones pulling the strings pay for it. Well said. I guess going back wasn't ever really an option. Genda Sensei. Looks like I got complacent from all the peace and quiet. Leave it to me to underestimate the younger generation. I apologize. I shouldn't have been so impertinent. That should be my line, Sari Kun. I suppose I have to make up my mind after all that, don't I? Get out there and do what needs to be done. And heaven help anyone in your way. 
Yeah. Right. Yep. You heard him. Hello? Yagamishi, are you still in Kamurocho? Yeah, why? What's up? I'm afraid RK seems to be amassing any Jincho. It's very bizarre. Are they now? Yeah, and I can't shake the feeling that the officers like Soma and Akutsu are still in town. You think so? If I was Soma, I'd have left the Jincho by now. He's a person of interest in Sawa-sensei's murder, too. I see. That does make sense. Things are settling into place here, though. I'm heading back to Ijincho with Sugiura. We got a lot to go over with you when I get back. <laughs> Wonder what it could be. Okay, see you soon then. So we're, yeah, we're getting really close with this game. We got like a few more chapters and we're done, I think. Let's go. I think there's like 13 chapters and we're on 10. Eh? And this game's getting crazy. Pretty sure we're about to get like some crazy ass boss fights pretty soon. I mean, last few chapters had some. Well, these ones are about to be nuts. The whole. Let's see. Oh, yeah, Eugene Show. Here we go. Alright. And I wish they would just. I wish you could pick where in the Eugene Show you get to stop by, you know, so you don't have to like walk once you get here ain't no skateboard either since we have an ally that sucks yeah just got the new hoverboard too all right let's get these guys over here look at them all right let's get this all right holy shit hang on so once you get a good parry you can't get knocked down Actually, hang on you some crazy shit hang on these guys are weak as shit. Yeah, they're not even worth pairing. I can just beat them up. Here we go. Oh, how'd I miss that? Alright. I like that so much. Holy shit. Really, guys? Alright. Let's go through here. I'm hoping. The final boss is gonna be really cool in this game. I mean, they're cool in like every game, pretty much. All right, let's go through here. Holy shit! Okay, we're good. This is it. Well, now that's something. Looks like we're finally starting to see the whole picture. Kuwana-san, or rather Kitakata-sensei, huh? And his students helped Ihara murder Mikoshiba. But there's still some things that doesn't explain. Like what? Like why does RK keep going after Kuwana-san? You think that's weird too, right Yagami-san? Yeah. That's the piece of the puzzle that'll lead us to why Sawa-sensei got killed. Before they came to Ijinsho, RK was originally looking for Shinya Kawai. But when they found out he might have been killed, they suddenly shifted gears to Kawana. So what are they trying to accomplish? We can guess all we want, but that's not going to get us anywhere. Shouldn't we ask someone in RK directly? They're strengthening their numbers in Ijinsho as we speak. The coons at the bottom rung aren't going to be in the know on that, though. Though if Akatsu or Soma were around, then we might get somewhere. That's true. Sitting around here won't get us any further. I'm gonna head into the city for a bit. I'm quick on my feet. That's about all I have going for me right now. <laughs> How modest of you. Yeah, don't say that, Yagamishi. Otherwise, what ground do we have to stand on? Oh, yep, something crazy about to happen when you walk outside. We got a text message, hang on. Yeah, I like barely checked this. What was more of this? Alright, so that's just that. Let's look around town. 
Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. What am I supposed to do? Um. It ain't shit for me. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I got this hoverboard. Yeah, this is definitely ten times faster. Hello. It's Shirosaki. Do you have a minute, Yagami-san? Yeah, what's up? I was thinking back on our interview with Yahara-san, and something he said isn't sitting right with me. So I wanted to ask your opinion. Which part felt off? The part about Kuwana approaching other bullying victims besides Yahara-san to offer revenge. Yahara-san also mentioned that most of them rejected his offer, but never went to the police either. Yeah, and? Well, wasn't the first bully Kuwana killed his own student? Shinya Kawai, I mean. Tormented by his bullies, Mitsuru Kusumoto's leap left him in a coma to this day. That event was the catalyst for Kuwana's actions. So wouldn't he have approached his parents about revenge too? Mitsuru Kusumoto's parents? You're talking about his mother, Reiko Kusumoto, right? Yes, who is currently Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health. If she accepted or is even an accessory to a revenge plot against Kawhi, then there's no way she'd ever want that secret to get out. With her level of influence and power, wouldn't it be possible that she ordered RK to silence Kawana? Which would explain how RK's actions are being controlled, wouldn't it? And you think it's Reiko Kusumoto? <laughs> you don't think vice ministers can control criminal organizations from the shadows? You know very well the answer to that. Yeah. Tsukumo's actually looked into her before. I'll talk to him about it right now. Yeah, this is genius, Sari-san. This could lead us right to who's controlling RK. Quite a compliment coming from you. I feel better already. <laughs> Don't sweat it. I'll call you if I find anything out. Alright, so that's that. I thought we were about to do some crazy ass stuff, you know, run around the whole town. Yeah, I like this hoverboard a whole lot. I actually can get places a lot quicker with it. Look at that, man. I wish I had it earlier. Let's go through here. I don't even know how I got it. Like, I just opened up my gift. And they just gave it to me. I think it was, like, part of, like, getting it the first day, you know? Yagami-san, back already? Haha, <laughs> that was quick. I figured you'd be out in the town until evening. Well, the day's not over yet. I need you to look into Reiko Kusumoto again. She might be the one behind RK. Really? Yeah. Can you pull up the picture of her you showed me last time? Okay. Take a look at this, Yagamishi. Reiko Kusumoto became vice minister just recently. It hasn't even been a full year yet. Looks like she's still got a good rep. Yeah, there's almost no criticism of her out there. The Ministry Revolution, bucking the bureaucracy. Golden parachutes don't fly with Kusumoto. Hm. Go her. Vice Minister is pretty high up there, yeah? Big time. If she really did take Kawana up on his offer, silencing him would be the quickest way to save her skin. And in that case, she'd need some kind of connection to RK. Some kind of connection? A bit vague, no? Fair enough, but RK already took an innocent life while hunting Kawana down. Right. And after killing Sawa-sensei, they tried to kill me, too. Still, no matter how dangerous the gang, murder is a risky proposition. Then again, if someone's pulling the strings, they have a lot less to worry about. Especially if that someone has vice minister status. Well, the internet's not gonna give us much else. How about we do our usual thing? Go straight to the source. Maybe we should. Would it really be that easy to get a meeting with someone like her? Mitsuru Kusumoto's still in a coma, right? Yes. If he's in a hospital, we can catch her by surprise there. I get ya. That might work. Huh. What's this now? What's what now? Breaking news from the net. It says manhunt for Sawa-sensei's murderer. And? It's hitting the network news, too. 
The person they're after is... Wanted for the murder of private school teacher Yoko Sawa in her own apartment, Kanagawa PD is conducting a search for the suspect, self-proclaimed handyman Yu Kitakata. Nearby Why are they looking for Kuwana? Shouldn't they be after Soma? Sawa-san's former teacher before and after the incident. It's also surfaced that he's been using a false identity for over a decade. The police are hopeful that their search will turn up some sort of connection to Sawasan. Hmm. If Kawanasan was caught on camera, then surely some RK thugs were as well? Yeah, I think so. On that note, I should have been in the footage too. The police only seem to want Kawana, but why? Guess we'll have to ask them ourselves. Ask who? Detective Watanabe from Kanagawa PD. He was the guy in charge of Mikoshiba's murder. Been a while, hotshot. Yeah, I guess it has. Hey, I'm curious. Do you have any evidence that Kuwana killed Sawa-sensei? I take it you saw the news? Kuwana was caught on camera near the crime scene, plus he knew the victim. And if that's not enough, he was using a fake name. How's that for evidence? But I saw Soma holding an ice pickup to Sawa Sensei. Plus, there were RK footprints all over the scene. So why is Kawana the only suspect? Because the big boys with big balls at HQ said so. Barking at me won't get you anywhere. So this is all just pressure from upstairs? What is going on here? Why are you so bent out of shape? Kawana's a legitimate suspect, and all we're doing is following procedure. So stick your private investigator schnoz somewhere else. You know, you sound pretty bent out of shape yourself. Where are you right now? Uh huh? I was thinking maybe we could meet up. How's a free pass to bitch about your work sound? Abe-san? On the phone, in person, there's nothing I can tell you. <sighs> he hung up. Yagamishi, I managed to focus in on the background noise from your phone call. Despite all the interference, I have a good idea of Nabe-san's location. What? Seriously? He's on the main drag in Chinatown. If you go now, I'm sure you'll find him. But... is he even gonna listen to you? It won't matter if I miss him because we sat here wondering. <laughs> Yagami Detective Agency. Quick on its feet indeed. <laughs> Can't compete with that. Alright, so yeah, the story's kinda slowing down. Nothing too crazy is really happening, just a lot of just running around and stuff. Chinatown. Let's see. Oh, so you actually gotta find him. Alright, let's get going. Yeah, I like this whole lot, like, it's so fast, actually. They can actually get to places hella quick. I wonder if... There's any other skateboards you can get. I'll probably look into it. Since this was, like, one of the ones I got for free. I'm pretty sure there's, like, faster ones. I guess that's it. And stay down. All right. Let's get on going. Look at that. It looks so cool too. I like the little glow. All right. Here we go. Look at these guys. Holy shit. Ah, oh, should I miss that? That works. Really, guys. Keep on going. Yeah, I don't really need a taxi anymore since I got this. What if it's not even that much faster and I'm not, it's all like in the head and shit? Wouldn't that be some shit? Let's keep on going. Oh, what the hell? Here we go. I can like jump too, I didn't realize. Walk. Okay, hang on. I missed the turn. Yeah, without the speed boost, it goes just as fast as like the normal skateboard with the boost. Here we go. Oh, I remember this place. Alright. So let's go ahead and look for him. Pretty sure... Oh, it shows you exactly where he's at, I think. Is that it? Or is that just my marker? Why are you here? Oh, hey, Nabe-san. And you were... 
Sakurai? Oh, right. <laughs> I take it you didn't just happen to be in the neighborhood. Let's just say some friends of mine have a real keen sense of smell. Something stinks about the cops here. Excuse me, pal. The Sawa case. Why aren't you going after RK? Or are you and you're just keeping me in the dark? <sighs> this isn't the place to talk about that. What the? Hey! I get the feeling something's keeping you guys from doing your jobs. And I don't have to listen to you. You want to say that again? Sakurai, I gotta hit the can. Head back to the station. Huh? Need to take a piss, Yagami? You're looking hydrated. Yeah. Good call. Then let's. Damn. What's he up to? Nice spot you brought me to. Very romantic. <sighs> well, we're about to have a shitty conversation. Might as well do it with a pleasant view. Do the cops really believe Kawana is responsible for Sawa Sensei's death? You wouldn't be looking for him if we weren't serious. You would have a warrant. To arrest Kawana? His real name's Yu Kitikata. He's been using a fake. He services right at the murder scene of his former student. In my eyes, he was suspicious enough. What about Soma from RK? He should have been spotted on the nearby cameras too. Like when he entered her apartment. He wasn't. <laughs> How is that possible? Let me rephrase. There's no footage that had RK anywhere near it. What's that supposed to mean? From the moment Mikoshiba's murder went down, the higher-ups had been busy playing politics. I had a handle on things when they were just competing with Tokyo PD over who got to really hara. But after that murder footage came out, it really stirred shit up. Sawa Sensei's case has me scratching my head too. Someone at the top is trying to keep details under wraps. And they think it'll work even in this day and age. You're saying the whole force is in on a cover-up? It started with the footage surrounding Sawa's apartment. Someone on the inside erased it. Any footage that had the RK guys tagged in it is totally wiped. Erase the footage? Are you serious? Yeah. You heard me. Kawana leaving her place is all that's left. Even the parts where you show up are long gone. Before and after. The only person that the cameras pin the crime on is Kawana himself. Who would go so far to erase the footage? Who would do something like that? It's time to let it go, Yagami. Mikoshiba's case and Sawa-sensei's case, they're closing the book. And to tie up the loose ends, and this is the shitty part, Kawana has to die in an accident. What? As soon as they track him down, they'll put him into custody and then blame it on negligence. They'll say he resisted arrest and died in the struggle, I guess. Someone clearly wants Kuwana gone, and they have the power to do it. Come on. Who could have that power? Kuwana is clearly a target of someone higher up. Even if he sees it coming, he won't be able to stop it. As far as I'm concerned, the case is closed. You wouldn't understand until you've been on the force. When the team you're playing for is rotten to the core, all you can do is look the other way. As for me, I'll stick to the cut and dry cases for a while. That's what will keep me an honest cop. That's bullshit! <laughs> You'll shut the lid on the trash, ignore the smell of the rot coming from inside and go on pretending it's justice? And then you call that being an honest cop? <sighs> Asshole. Did you forget that you were talking to a detective? <laughs> you never did answer the question, Nami son. Who had the authority to erase the security cameras? Who wants Kawana dead so bad that they do it inside? Even if I told you, what the fuck could you do about it, detective? Smartass! <laughs> Leave it alone, Yagami. 
It's for your own good. Is that your call? Well, I think I'll be the judge of that. All right, here we go, guys. Shit. I was about to say, like, nothing ever good happens in the morning. It's like nighttime, some crazy shit's about to happen, you know? All right, here we go. Oh, this looks kind of crazy. Holy fuck. He does a lot. He can't grab him. Hang on, guys. All right. Holy shit. All right, I think we're good. Here we go. Holy shit, man. Good thing I stocked up on food, so we're good. All right. Jesus. Man, this guy hurts. Jesus. All right. I think I'm about to die, so I'm about to heal up. Yeah, I did a decent amount of damage to him already. Just gonna drink this and this. Power up. All right. I need a parry. Oh, here we go. Oh, quick time events. Whoops. That just insta killed me. So no wonder he's pretty easy because he has like the instant kill like quick time events. Yeah, I think I got it down this time. Let's go. Alright, let's get this. Holy shit. Yeah, this guy does a lot of damage. Alright. Dodge him real quick. Holy shit. So like I'm scared of this like quick time event. He just does hella. I'm gonna go and heal just in case. Power up. Alright. Shit. All right. Jesus. All right. Ooh, I stunned him. Nice. This is gonna get him in the grab. All right. Holy shit. Yeah, this guy's crazy. Yeah, this boss fight's actually kind of nuts. Holy crap. Hang on, I got a text message. Alright, hang on guys. Okay, I'm good in health. So I'm gonna get a good grab. Okay, this is where he killed me instantly. So that like would instantly kill you, you fuck up. It caught me off guard. Holy shit, he just sounded like he got murdered. Hang on. He'll be over here. Jesus. He's gonna throw me in the water again. <laughs> Bullshit. I'm doing one of these. Yeah, this guy hurts. Holy crap. I'm doing one of these. This guy sounds pissed. Fuck. I'm trying to like parry more because it looks cool as shit. Holy shit. I messed that up. All right. Yeah, this is fun as shit. All right. Oh, let's get that real quick. That's so sick. All right, spin this. Holy shit! <laughs> Almost died. We should be good now. Just one good hit. There we go. Oh, that was fun. They broke the lock and forced their way into Sawa Sensei's place. That's when Soma came in. I'm sure she was terrified. They were pointing an ice pick at her. When I found her, her eyes were still open. I could see the tears. Yet the police are going after Kawana instead of Soma. And the cops that were there know he isn't a suspect, but say their hands are tied. So it'll be my voice you hear instead of hers. And when they come to silence me, I'll know who the puppet masters are. <laughs> uh, I hear you. You're probably right. 
And if you have any idea who might be pulling the strings, I need you to tell me before it's too late. Is there anyone on the Force who would want Kawana dead? The moment we opened Sawa Sensei's case, the Kanagawa brass had a suspect file ready to go. They didn't point to your guy Soma. They named you Kitakata, alias Kuwana the Handyman. <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? You were the first to the scene, which means the bigwigs pulled a suspect file before it even happened. Where'd the info about Kitakata come from? I'm not sure. But the National Police Agency said it came from public security. Public security? Why is public security involved in Sawa Sensei's case? Seems they were interested in RK's criminal network in Kamrocho. You know how after the Tojo clan disbanded, the criminals started going underground? Well, public security would rather let RK roam free than bust them. Monitoring them quietly gives them intel on criminal movements. And even if you catch these guys, no ones will just take their place. Wait, so they want RK on the streets? Is that why they're brushing Sawa Sensei's case under the rug? If RK goes down in one fell swoop over a murder case, they'd have to find a new source of intel. Purely speaking from public security's point of view, that is. Unbelievable. Not that they'd ever say that out in, well, public. If you believe public security, there's no way RK killed Sawa Sensei. What the hell? Do they even have a reason? Not that I'm aware of. On top of that, I asked Tokyo PD about Soma, but he doesn't have a record. No priors, no census registry, not even a damn profile pic. Then, what does that mean? The man known as Kazuki Soma doesn't exist, basically. Maybe that's how it's always been, maybe it's a cover-up. But they had plenty of files on Kuwana to send our way instead. They're the ones who made him the prime suspect in Sawa Sensei's case, too. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Kuwana's a scapegoat for RK. Public security wants to shut the curtains on Sawa Sensei's case with him. As far as they're concerned, with Kuwana silenced, it'll all balance out. So that's what you meant by Kuwana having an accident. Right. Better to flush your ship and keep a lid on it. So who's running the show in public security? Do they have a name? I wasn't told, unfortunately. I'm afraid I'm further down the food chain than you thought. Yeah, Watanabe speaking. Huh? Eugene Show? Huh? Right. Got it. Call me if anything else comes up. Kawan has been spotted. A witness reported seeing him in Eugene Show. Seriously? He's back here? Couldn't say for sure. Where's he at? Fukutokucho, in Koreatown, where the Komi Jewel hang out. The police are headed there now. Komi Jewel? Apparently it means spider web in Korean. You haven't seen it? It's made to look like it's abandoned. And Kawana's there? You're not gonna say you got that from me, right? I don't have much time. You said Kawana might have an accident, didn't you? I'm sure that's why you're telling me all this. If you find him, let him know it's public security that's after him. And they mean business. Alright, this is a good spot to end the video. I'm pretty sure once you find Kawana in the Gomi Jewel, it's gonna be some crazy shit. I just go ahead and save. Yeah, boss fight was kind of cool. But I'll go ahead and finish this game up tomorrow, probably. So I'll see you guys in a bit.